we have rainbow lorikeets this morning and noisy dogs in the background as usual <laughs> oh, never mind these rainbow lorikeets were really noisy a little while ago I had to come out to see what was going on but as soon as I came outside of course they stopped their chattering Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to them still rather nervous Oops. the dogs chased them away Ella, you're always chasing the birds away. They'll come back. Don't fight. There's plenty of food to go around. Here they come. So the rainbow lorikeets are nectar eaters as well as they'll also eat seeds. They're a parrot, so they'll eat seeds. They'll eat little insects. Uh, they've actually got little hairs on the end of their tongues. They've got like a round stumpy tongue and they've got little hair type things on the ends of their tongue and they use that to lick up the nectar out of flowers and blossoms and things but as you can see they, they've got nice sharp orange beaks and they can easily crack open those seeds they really like the sunflower seeds and they're very loud <laughs> quite playful. Yes, there's enough to go around. You don't have to fight. Alright, so that's them. I'm going to go and do a pour. G'day guys, welcome back. This is uh, number three. Of the bloom same colors I'm gonna go again let's pour out our pillow and this is just low sheen white interior wall paint is all it is okay Oops. don't go over the edge come back this way a little bit I'm gonna put another blob on seeing I've Removed it. Um, let's wipe that. Put my little lid back on. When I've got time, I'll pour that into my big squeeze bottle. Righto, let's get straight into it. Um, jo Sonia's paints in here. Mixed with my... Is that big enough? Let's try bigger. I don't know. I, I'm still experimenting as to how much to use but it's a pretty decent sized tile so let's put a little bit more on um, 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 um. paints are mixed with this uh, wall low sheen it's an untinted paint though it's not white the pillow is white the um, pouring medium is not white, it's untinted. I'm going to do this and get a bit of a swirl happening, see if we can get some different colours through there. Why not? And that was Aquamarine, these are Joe Sonia's paints. And then my cell activator is just the Amsterdam Titanic, Titanic, <laughs> Titanium White mixed with Floetrol. Three parts Floetrol, one part titanium white I'm going to actually keep that in the center because I don't want it to sink and I'm going to use my little U-Butte fan thing All right, here we go straight down into the middle and out oops I think I've got a bit too much on there okay, spread it a little bit further now I'm going to make some more blossoms because I was getting those little bare areas of corner where I had nothing. So let's make some more blossoms, hey? Oh, I'm going off to the one corner here. What? What's with that? Into the middle, push it up. Put 
push it up, push it out. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Push it out. All right, that'll do me. So that's my little barbecue fan blower that I got from eBay, and I love it. It's the best thing since sliced bread. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute. Um, I got two of them. That's the box that, that came in. Grill ventilator for barbecue. Takes a battery, a D-sized battery. So yeah, I bought, I bought two. It did come with the little nozzle thing on top, but I'd prefer it uh, not with a nozzle so I can get nice and close. Wow, look at that reaction, you guys. <gasps> wow. That is amazing. And I've got more um, petals, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The last one I might have only had four or five. That's why I ended up with um, a lot of white on the corners because I didn't have enough blossoms and I put lots of paint on that one as you saw and I kind of um, did little circles so I've got these multi-coloured ones I haven't just got a block of one colour because they've kind of wiggled in and mixed a little bit right, hopefully that's enough time to let it sit let's move that out of the way this is a 8 inch square tile 20 centimetre now when people just do those little tiles, they just put like a little blob on the end of a stir stick in the middle. But because mine's, these tiles are probably twice the size of what those people are using, I thought I better have more paint. Now again, see how the middle's not moving? It's because I kind of blew straight down and then out, so the middle's got less pillow there. So let's just move it just little bits like this until we loosen up that middle. Don't start tilting if the middle's stuck, all right? Because the middle's gonna get all elongated. Actually, this is really nice. Look at this, I'm just rocking. Rock it, my baby. I'm just rocking it gently and it's actually covering. I'm walking it like I do when I'm, you know, when I walk my, my paws, when I do my flip cups. My neck, now I'm swaying as well. I'm just going to bring this back. I do want a little bit of white still left so that it matches my others. I'm just going to go that way because the paint's heading that way. So let's go that way doesn't have to go over the corner. Again, because I've got so much paint on here, I've got lots of cells up here, um, which means if I go over the corners, I'm going to lose them all. Maybe the next one I will do less paint just to see what happens. When I started, I was using less paint and my colors weren't staying vibrant because there was only a little bit of paint and then it would mix with all the white and they would lose their vibrancy also I'm losing some of my blossoms I guess that doesn't matter does it does it matter my petals that I made let's go back to the middle and you have to decide how much you want to let go how much you want to keep too and you don't have to go over the corners. So don't feel as if you have to. You just do whatever looks pretty for you. If you're happy with the composition, then leave it. I just think this, I don't like that bend there. I don't know what I can do about it. 
because if I start trying to get the band off, those are gorgeous, those are gorgeous. See, this is the thing, I, I think I've got too much paint on, that's why I can't really tilt anymore because I'm losing it. Just getting my composition looking nice now. I, that does bother me, but I don't know. All right, let's just see how we go getting some of that off then. But see, I'm losing these now, these gorgeous lacings. I'm just going to go to that little bend there. Okay, I've probably ruined it now, have I? hope not. It just bugged me that having that double bend there. Back to the middle. It does take a while, just bear with it, don't rush it. It all needs to be stretched out. Just put it back in the middle. So I've got four little white corners. That one's got the less, but the least, but it's still a little white corner. Finger underneath like that. Just to clean it off. So the colours have stayed <clears throat> beautiful and vibrant because I've had lots of paint on there. <clears throat> but you can't really see the blossom, you know, the petals, I, sh I guess, because I've tilted them off. Depends what you like. You know, if you like that petal look, don't use so much paint. And then when you blow the blossoms, you can keep them. If you want to see those blossom edges so I think that's what it comes down to um, a little bit more paint and you get more vibrancy and you can kind of go right out to the sides less paint and you're going to see more of your your blossoms I'm just going to show you one of my earlier ones uh, if I can find it and we'll see how far we've come um, kind of stuck together, doesn't matter. See, so that's it there. That was less, that was when I used less paint. And you can see how they kind of blur off into the background. Um, and the colours don't stay as vibrant because they mix with the white pillow underneath. So that's with more paint. And you can see the difference. They're really vibrant. Right, I'll take you down for a close up. I'll show you the other set of of three. So now I've got a lovely set of four. I think this is my favourite though. I think it is. And I think I've told you in previous videos, I'm not a flower person. I don't really like flowers. I don't like flowers for gifts. Um, and they're pretty and all that, but I just can't see the point of them. <laughs> I guess it's the gesture, hey, the thought that counts. But um, yeah, I'm not really a blossom person. So I'm happy for for me not to see those the blossom side of it the petals and just have a gorgeous more abstract kind of a painting I guess I just love that lacing so beautiful and that was my best blow <laughs> if I can say that my best blow all right let's go over here and look at the other one this was the previous video actually no it wasn't that was the first that was the first video where I had a little bit too much turquoise I wasn't very good at the blowing then <clears throat> and this was that was the second one which I did better but I've only sort of got one two three four maybe four or five petals that I did so because of that um, when I've stretched them I've got a lot of white in between but um, it's still really, really beautiful. So what am I going to do with these now? Like, what do you do with tiles? They're too big to be a coaster. This was the first one I did my little practice one. I didn't video it. But that was my first one. So there's that little set of three there. Uh, they all match beautifully. And then over here to... The last one that I just did. How pretty. Do you have a favourite? Which one do you like? 
So yeah, love my little blower. There he is. Barbecue fan blower. Um, I think when you're lighting a fire <clears throat> and you just need a little bit of wind like to catch the, the flames, I think that's what you use it for. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I love it. It's fantastic. You know, I've used the smallest little leaf blower in the world or whatever it's called. It Its little nozzle was too thin. It just didn't work for me. So there we go. Um, try them out. I just got it on eBay. So yeah, have a go. Let me know what you think of it. Righto, really, really happy with these. Now I'm just going to have to try some different colours and maybe um, a black cell activator. But seriously, guys, what do I do with these tiles now? Mm, I don't know. All right, see you for the next one. Bye for now.